Good morning, afternoon, and evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Zachary Nolan, and my name is Carter Nolan. So, <laughs> Dad's mocking us over there. <laughs> all he hears what I'm talking. Yeah. All he hears. Yeah. <laughs> um. No. But anyway. Um. So we're doing a jer- you know jer- someone. Jersey you, you take Jersey it away. Con- Jersey concepts review. So we got um. We got a jersey for each team. Uh, I know one of them has two, uh, but of color rush jersey concepts, and we're just gonna look through them. So yeah, yeah. we'll see. Um, we so think credit to uh, Carter Richard, a uh, buddy of mine, and I will make sure I link his Instagram in the description down below. Please check out his work. He does great work when it comes to jersey concepts. It's awesome. So I think we should get right into this. <laughs> Stop that! What is he doing? He keeps fucking that around. silly guy. What a silly man. All right. What so, a silly pillow. All right. So, are we ready for the first yeah. one? Yes. All right. So, the first one. Oh. Uh, yes. So, like, the Anaheim jersey is interesting because, like, normally you get, like, the purple or you get purple and white and the green and black. But you get the combination of the two, which is nice. Yeah. I like how it kind of mixes the modern orange with the old purple mm-hmm. that they had. I actually really like this I one. I would have maybe made the sticks brown, but that's maybe just a nitpick of mine. I, like just so I that, actually, like, you don't have orange something orange. Yeah. I actually, I'm fine with the orange. Like, stick. see how, really for like example, it. he did it really well on the yep. arms where he makes the white in between it. Yeah. I would have done the same thing with brown just for this, like, stick I see. color. But other than that, I love, they I love, use the right. I actually right. love that logo on the shoulder. I like it. I like it better on the shoulder. I think it works great great as a shoulder patch right I now. always like I always thought shoulder patches should be something that's very circular or very something like that or very like rounded at a local design. I feel I, I feel like sometimes yes I feel like there are some there exceptions, are exceptions. Yep. so I think that's, that's good for that one that's yeah. good yep. Ooh. so Arizona which is a little bit interesting as normally you don't see much mesh between the early 2000s to uh, last year's coyotes mm-hmm. uh stuff and the kachina era mm-hmm. stuff so it's kind of interesting to see it kind of mesh together this one's tough because i don't know how the purple like i've only i haven't seen enough games with them wearing purple yeah. to really show how much it sticks out in them it does look nice i will it's say it's okay that. yeah yeah I, I would i would say i prefer the anaheim one but the arizona one is not bad yep a purple mm. coyote yes yeah. I like awesome. this one. Yeah, I like this one. It's this really simple, really but I like it. This one looks very like this is the type of thing that I would like to see them in like an original six matchup play with like that a winner classic or no, uh, you know, yeah, possibly winner classic or like or just possible like a hey, Emma like just um like for example like Jets have heritage blue play against this like if for example if Chicago or Detroit's in town play use this yep. jersey that or, or Toronto really nice. you could do as well yeah yep. as well. But or actually Montreal, that would be probably. I I sense. really like that jersey though. Yeah, honestly. it's nice. This Buffalo. one's a little. This one's a little interesting, just because. I mean, the only thing that kind of throws me off a little bit is that the it's two. To, is it's two tone as opposed to three tone? Buffalo is always being three tone. I um, think Buffalo works better three tone. Yep. I, I think this one could have used a little bit of blue. Yeah, just even if it's just a slight amount. Because the problem is, is the only thing I see with this is like because you use two tone, you take away the yellow. The yellow looks less golden and more mustard because you're not having anything to balance yep. it. To be fair, it's also just because of the, with the style of the concepts that are made. The mm. yellow is kind of made to look more mustardy. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I like the sabers thing see, at the bottom, though. I like that. I would have been interested to see just a blue a, a blue where the white is to see if that would have worked better. Also, an all-white collar and a white jersey. I find that interesting. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this is actually, this is the only team that has two concepts, which is Calgary. So there's this one here with the flames at the <sighs> bottom. Okay, so I'm so torn here because I'm going to be honest. Yep. The color doesn't isn't the best for me. I think it could have added red somewhere, but yep. the design is really nice. Oh yeah. Like I really like the design, but I wish the color had red yep. somewhere. Like I wish, for example, if it was red flames at the bottom on, or in the cuffs on the, the bottom, yep. that really would have sold it for me. Yeah, the oh, it's funny. Actually, normally I'm very critical about jerseys that use that that um like um cursive font just cuz I find it reminds me of baseball a lot. I actually, I actually don't mind it when they at least include the logo with the font, mm-hmm. just so there's something. And it's like that. funny because I mean, in hindsight, it shouldn't work, but it does. Yep. And it's funny. You were what you were just saying. Let's see if you like this one. Oh, there. But you switch see, it the, all the red. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. 
I would like the red and the yellow. Like, you just, I like you how just, the yellow was, and I wanted the black at the bottom to you, be you red. You know what I feel like would be really nice? Just a thin layer of yellow just on the because, inside of the flames. Well, yeah, stuff like that, but, like, just add one more color. Yep. One more it, color. They are, they are color rush jerseys, though, so two-tone tends to be more kind of intentional. I never understood so. that. I was like, color rush, more colors. Yep. Carolina. This one I find a bit interesting. Just because there's a lot more gray than it almost reminds the me of gray those. Gray and white are interesting to me because I actually, I'm 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 I, part of my brain thinks it screams practice jersey, but part of my brain actually really just likes the diverseness of it, like just the total uniqueness of it. There's nothing like it. I'll say that. Yeah, like it just it just kind of just sits there. Like, it, you know what it reminds me of? You you know how they did their reverse retro was the gray Hartford jersey. Mm -hmm. With just a few stripes, it reminds me kind of of that. Yeah. Um, just with obviously their modern branding. Like, because yeah, I don't even know where you'd put black if you were gonna do it. Like maybe between the two red bands. But other than maybe. that, I don't know. Maybe I don't know. Let's see. Chicago. I quite like this. Yeah, that's not bad actually. I like, actually, I actually really like this. That's not bad. Again, I'll say the same thing I said about Anaheim. The, the logo itself could have a little bit more color to stand out from the rest of the jersey because you're immediately going from white to red. I like seeing again. that as the center crest, though. You never see it as the center I crest. I do like that as the center crest. That is true. Yeah. That's actually, shockingly, the least are, are the, the least controversial crest, even though they're both actually okay. Yeah. I, yeah, I, I quite like this. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see here. I love this. Like, yep, yep. I love that this. one's good. This that is good. gorgeous. Okay, and you see why? Flawless. Three tone. Not a three tone. Not a single. Also, one thing I find really interesting: look at the shoulder patch. They take the Colorado logo and they switch around some of the colors. Mm -hmm. But I still love it. Yeah, it's better when you see it on this side, on the on the left shoulder, where you can see the bottom half of the A as well, because the yeah. top of the A doesn't do. If I were to change anything on this, and this is really nitpicking, honestly, mm. is you see like the purple color that they used, have that be the color of the puck on the, uh, on the shoulder. What color is the puck on the shoulder? On the White. Sh oh yeah, probably just that. just to make it stand out a little bit. But like I said, that is That's extreme, very extreme jersey. nitpicking. But I, like I, I would, but I, I'm very, I would I, absolutely I'm very buy one of these. Tone. Yep. Yeah, me too, for the most part, yeah. I like this one, but, like, it also reminds me a lot of their current, of that j jersey with the cannon in the middle. Yep. And it's funny. You know what I love about this, though? Mm. I love the, the CBJ. On CBJ the, on, on the, the arm actually works really nice. Yeah, it, it kind of reminds me of, like, uh, it almost, like, just, it makes it feel a little bit longer, almost. It gives sense. you that. It gives you that old like that old Civil War that vibe. trench coat vibe. I don't and know. And I can say Civil yep. War vibe because I think Ohio was in the north. I'm gonna hope Ohio was in the north. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's just move like, on. I, if, they, if they had a cannon coming out of the top of that. Oh! Of the giant side of the just put a cannon on top on of it. On top of without oh. the wheels, like maybe the wheels are coming out from behind this Columbus Blue Jackets, yeah. just like that. Oh. That would have sold me. I I didn't even think of that. Yeah. That's actually really cool. Uh, but yeah, I like this for the most part. This is an interesting one. This is like a this is like a, a remix. Over I love there. the captaincy. You know I do saying? like the captain. I actually really like that, that. That's really nice. That's creative. That's it reminds me a little bit of like almost like the NFL captain seats mm -hmm. where they're not just the letter. There's a little bit more design with it. The thing that throws me is would you have liked that stars? Would you like any of the stars colored in white? No. No? Not no, even I like... the one in the middle? Um, okay, maybe the one in the middle of the logo. Okay. Maybe that one. Um, yeah, but obviously I think the inspiration for this one was like the Medano era jerseys. With I was saying, I was gonna, I was gonna say the, uh, the outdoor jerseys were the inspiration. I, I get, I think it's a I mixture of the two. The in, the I, I'm just thinking that whole bottom of the jersey with the star outline reminds me That's of very, that Medano. They use very golden textures, I think, though, too. That's true. But yeah. Yep. But I actually, you know what I really love about this? Huh. Look at the collar. With just the white and then fades to green in the back. Mm -hmm. I love that. Let's see here. I like this one. This is interesting. The, I like this, this is one. Bold. I like this one because that old like Detroit like D there yeah. is something they don't use often enough. You know what they should use it for? Also, let's be honest. It here. should really be used as a shoulder patch in the modern jerseys. Mm -hmm. Let's be honest here. 
how many times do they use that D and it doesn't work? And I think this is probably the best you're going to get. Like, I don't think this is like a perfect jersey, but I think this is yeah. the best you can get with that patch in the middle. And you mean this specific D or just the D in general? That specific D. Okay, because I was about to say, when it comes to the D that they use, that I really like, do you remember the Stadium Series jerseys? I do years remember ago? that. I remember the that was stri- very good. That was, oh, that was so sick. But yeah. I like that on the arms, though. Overall, I, I, I like this. Mm-hmm. This is nice. I'm curious. The only thing I'd be curious about is how do the the wings on the arms correlate? Wrap see around? Half, yeah, yeah. I run with a wrap around. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. Edmonton. Edmonton's is very similar to what they use already, yep. which is okay. Um, I'm, Got the stripe behind I'm the logo. So, yeah, I'm so torn with that stripe because I see so many people try to do that stripe, like when they do their black jerseys. Yep. They like stadium series black jerseys, and I'm like, mm, I don't know. So I, I'm undecided on that, but I think at the at the very least, it's a very good middle. Of the Honestly, road. that that whole like just the idea of having the bright blue and the dark, uh, or the the bright sorry the bright orange and the dark blue. Um, I really didn't like it when Edmonton first came out with those third jerseys. They have grown on me. I think this is a better version of that. Okay. Florida. A little bit of red and you're golden. Yeah, I was just the same thing. A little bit. I think this But is, it is color rush, this, so I this understand This has Calgary point. syndrome for me is where it just needed a, one more color. Actually, you know what? I will say, though, that shoulder patch without the red is kind of neat. It is, but I would also still at the same time... You just need a little red. Just yeah, little, but it, but like red. I said, this, these are color rush jerseys, good. so they're designed to, for the most part, to mm-hmm. to try to be on team, which I understand that. So yeah, that's nice. I love this. I do like that. I really like this. I do like that. Like, really here's the thing. Here's the like thing. This. I like this. If you're only embracing the fact that this is a very, this is a design based off a jersey that, admittedly, at at the time it had it didn't look great but has very much grown with age that being said i will say the only thing that that, that is a caveat to this yeah is this really too it reminds me a lot of the lakers and i yeah not even i thought NBA, that too and i'm I saw not this. even an nba fan but i'm just like yeah mm-hmm. the only thing that confused me a little is look at the bottom of jersey see that stripe that doesn't go all the way yeah it looks like a goddamn nameplate ready for like a statue I, well, it looks like one of those nameplates that the statue tells you who it is like he, Anze Kopitar. Here, 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 here lies. Anze, no, no, it says Anze Kopitar. Here lies Kopitar. Yeah, there you go. Yes. Let's stick an advertisement on there. This one. Minnesota. Okay. I see this. I, I like the forest. I do. I will say this. I immediately think of Christmas. Yep, that's true. I think very much Christmas. Well, I uh, well, I actually, I actually did talk to him about this one, and he said that he wanted to try something different from the green, just because everyone does green. That's right. So he fair. wanted to try something unique, mm-hmm. um, which this definitely is. Mm-hmm. Uh, I like the I, I like the see... shoulders with yeah. that that cream color. I would have liked to see him put a little <clears throat> green on the logo and see like just where the where the where, where the body of it is, where the sky yeah. is, and that's about it. Yeah, maybe make the logo sim like closer to the, the colors, but yeah, looks mm-hmm. not bad. This is pretty much a direct, like, opposite of the reverse retro. Okay. We so just all switch you need the is, red and... All you need is a little white. Little white, yeah. Like, I think... Because here's the thing. The logo itself is what is is, is what is, is, is kind of... Like, it's kind of pushing my hand here because, for example, it goes red, blue, red, really The only fast. thing that kind of confuses me is if you look at the captaincy, then look at the numbers, they're not the same. That makes sense. Yeah. Which which is interesting. Which immediately buys into the as, as well as the logo too. One C's blue, one C isn't. Yeah. Yeah, but overall I actually do quite like the design. Just maybe a few color changes here and there. But other mm. than that, it's not bad. Let's see here. I like this. I like this too, actually. I like this. I like this a lot. I, I kind of, I, I, I kind of think Nashville should at least have one jersey that isn't bright blue. Yeah, because like when they do that blue jersey, you know what? Like sometimes it doesn't show up really well, but like it actually looks decent, and it's a good secondary like color for them to use. Yeah, they've kind of drifted away from it. They've done more of the yellow, and I get why they do it. It's very in your face. It was a thing. long time from when they used to not do the yellow as much. They really did. They really did it. Ugh. Well, heavily now, but yeah. This is different. This is, this is what you wear in March, isn't it? See, you th- this you is think St. Patrick's? Or, I do, yeah. I do. This is a little too much green for me. 
Yeah, that that's fair. The uh, I find it interesting how he uses this dark green. I've never seen it, but I actually don't mind it. Like at the bottom there. You know what I love? Yeah, I, I love how black. bright the white is on the logo. Oh yeah. yeah how yeah. it kind of like it's almost like the devil is like the shadow. Yeah. Like yeah. You, you know what I mean? I actually quite like that. You're thinking silhouette, and yes. Silhouette, sorry. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I actually quite like this. I don't mind this. This reminds me a lot of the Jets Reverse Retro. Yeah, although I don't know if this would show up better because green is tough to to say on a yep. on a screen. That's true. That is a nice jersey. I I like this. I I, re- I don't. And, I and here's really... the funny thing. Here's the funny thing. I like this, and at the same time, I stare at the bottom and yeah. the and the and the end of the sleeves, and I'm like, do I want more orange in that? No. I don't no. know. No. I'll tell you right now, know. no. This is, okay, you know what? This, I've this, always this liked the idea of their... having it just continue and going straight to the bottom with a different color. Yeah, but you, but you have that, though. But you at least have a color there. You don't have the same, like, white, white. This I, is I like asking if you had, like, white here, and then you hit white here, and then you'd have white here. Well, no, it would be like if I put blue right here. Yeah. Because that's the center of the arm, because that's what you're trying to do. Put the center okay. of the arm and put it. I, I love this. And it's funny. I'm someone who I'm not crazy about that NY, just the NY, just because I find it a tad bit lazy. But with this, I actually quite like it. I mm-hmm. think it, it pops quite a lot. And then having the standard logo on the shoulder, the circular logo on the shoulder, looks really nice. Yeah. And I, I, this this just really could have been their reverse I, retro. I, yeah, if they were a little more creative, but... Sadly, they weren't. I'm not saying the reverse retro is bad, just by reverse retro. Yes, it is. By reverse retro. Yes, it is. If that was their it's standard bad. home jersey, it's bad. it'd be fine. It's bad. But reverse retro. It's bad. Uh, this one, which clearly takes off that older one and the reverse retro and kind of expands on it a bit. See, this is all actually really interesting to me because the way that they, they center it around the Statue of Liberty and have it come blue and then all the way go up to white... Uh, yeah, interesting the, to me. The only thing that I have a question about this is, when a team wears this on the ice, are they wearing white or dark? That's true. <laughs> what, wh- that which do you classify? And the as? fact that you had a, a thin layer of red, red at the top and then another white really doesn't help. Like you're saying that if like they... for the shoulders, if the shoulders were like the same color as blue, yeah. then that would make it more. Distinct. I'd be really curious if they if if he if he ever just try this with all white and then just had a little blue stripe underneath those red in the middle Maybe. just a, yeah but i like this i really like that logo i think they should use it more on a third jersey but mm-hmm. yeah ottawa so this is a throwback is it okay so this there's one is spot that, that bugs me and i think you know where it is it's the arm Right, it, it's there. that little piece of that red. Little piece of red. It cuts away. Cause yeah. actually, I look at this and I and I know I'm missing the the heritage point, but I just think of red blacks, and I think it's a very good. Well, it's literally red blacks. Yeah, I I actually don't hate the center's logo. However, I wish they had the circular you, senator's you, uh, shoulder crest. Yes. Uh, you know what I find interesting? Mm-hmm. The logo is see through. It's transparent. Like yeah. the colors behind it keep going. Yeah, I kind Ain't of. that strange? I, I, yeah, it is. I like that. I, I don't know if I, I don't know if I love it or, but like, it's one of those things where it's like, I. It's just. I would just different. like to see it. I would like to see it happen. They don't have to wear these jerseys. There a are lot. some of these jerseys where I think they would look better if I actually had one in my hands, um, that rather than just looking at a concept. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so overall, I actually quite like this one. Mm. Philly. Normally, normally Philly, whenever they do like their stadium series, they always go like the all black with the orange. So it's seen them okay. kind of do something a little so different. So you see where he's got the gray at the top there? Yeah. I want that black, and I think I'm sold. Oh. Like a black shoulder? Yeah, and that's yeah, it, and yeah. I think I'm sold. That's it. That's all it's missing for me. Yep. But, but I see that. Because like, I don't want it to be too close to just two-toned, like almost like an Edmonton. Because Edmonton has yeah. really leaned into the orange market type thing. So oh, I don't, yeah. you don't like how... Kind of takes away from Philadelphia, which yeah. isn't fair. It's not fair for Philly. Not fair for Philly. <laughs> not fair for Philly. I like this jersey. I like this. Yes. I like this jersey. I think it could have done with maybe one more yellow stripe between like at the between the bottom one there and the top and the one in the middle. I disagree. But I think it could have, like, I don't know. I disagree. I, I, Would I, I, you have I, lowered the, the, the logo a little bit just to center it a little more so there's not as much dead space of black? Or do you think it, you get away with it? You know what I think you do? 
I think the mm -hmm. yellow and white, you raise it up slightly okay. on the bottom. Yeah. And don't uh, have black, just have it be continuous. I like on the, the yellow of the, of the logo, though. Yes, and um, you know, you know, uh, you know what I like though? Mm. How there's a yellow outline over the top of the the penguin. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you don't yeah, normally see on the that. Logo itself the good. only thing I would do is when it comes to shoulder crest, '90s Robo Penguin. Okay. '90s Robo Penguin. Okay, next. <laughs> I love that. This is bold, and it's an entirely brand new logo that we have I, not seen. Okay, can I can I credit say something? to that? Can I Actually, say something? Yes. People who like to make jersey designs, I love seeing people try to make new logo designs. Those are always interesting. So incorporating yeah. them into that works. This, I think you can actually, I think this works. This, you know, well, you know what this screams to me? Mm. California. I think, I think they so. do a very Honestly, good as a job and not of even capturing just that, the essence of I California. Think, I think you play this, if you're going to try to make a theme out of when you use this jersey, do it against, do it when you play the, when the duck, when you play the ducks or, or when kings. you play the kings. I, th I think, I think especially the kings because the ducks use a little orange. Yeah. Especially when you play the kings. Though. Yeah. The I, uh, team. I actually I more really white. like this yes. logo. If they use that as the shoulder crest, I'm sold. Also, the fact yeah. that it's a diamond shaped uh, yeah. logo, something we haven't it seen helps before. Show the off, Beverly. Yep. Uh, there you go. Without a, a shark in a triangle, now it's a diamond. Right. So is this paying homage to something? This is, well this is this, this paying homage to like the Metropolitans? A little bit, I believe. Yes, so. because yeah. I believe the red and black is not. Yeah. But it's like that salmon red. Can I also say that like the the Seattle Kraken's anchor? Yeah. I I, I like it. Now, granted, I'm going to be way too much. I would love a combination of the S itself wrapped around the Kraken anchor. Yeah. But at the same time, I can't even argue with this because it looks really nice. Yeah. I like. I, I like. I love also energy. obviously having the space needle on uh -huh. the the anchor. I think it reminds me a lot of the um. Of the what's it called? Of Vegas's third jersey, where with they the, just with decided that their crest on the arm would be their their their, their like, center one, yeah. which is better. And I think this works better than Vegas is just all red. Yeah. One. Yeah. I I actually I find it really interesting having that salmon red color around the Kraken logo on the shoulders. Yeah. That's unique. The only thing that I would add is the salmon red color. I would add a little thin stripe around the captaincy, just because you see it on the on the uh, numbers. Okay. That's the only thing I'd do. Uh, but I like that baby blue. It's mm -hmm. nice. St. Louis. I like it. Gorgeous. I like it. Perfect. Yep. Yep. That, it, it, I think this really what's the, captures uh, that retro. What's the... Uh, oh, is that the, the archway? Like, the, 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 um, the, the corner patch has the arch. Yeah, it has the archway with that blues logo mm -hmm. on there. Although, the only thing that would be kind of really funny is if they had the archway with... Have you seen the trumpets they've done? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can I also say, um, I love the fact that he puts on... He makes it still like a um, like a musician sheet by having enough like lines across. That's 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 the point. Yeah, that's, I was actually about nice. to say that is that um, I find it interesting how he has the in, amount of stripes music as there would be on like a, a staff. Um, Tampa. So I think ob the obvious inspiration is those fade jerseys. The, that they the, used. the the shadow at the bottom caught me off guard because I thought something was coming up. But oh, yes, yeah. yes. I like this. Honestly, this is a fade. decent jersey. The white fade, I think... Here's the thing, a thought that I have. If you're going to do the white fade like that, maybe put, like, a skyline at the bottom just to hit something back. Because, I don't know, fades like, like are... The like, just almost like... A, a gradient fade is what it's called, right? Yeah. And those are always tough for me to look at, like, in terms of, like... in. Marshawn suspended for slip footing. I just got the notification. Yeah. <laughs> Those are always tough for me to like debate. I'm like, I, I don't know. Like maybe. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. So like this one. The only thing I would like to see with a lot of Tampa jerseys, and I know this color maybe rusher wouldn't make sense. Crest. Uh, well, those I, I I think a shoulder crest should, crest should be on every logo. Personal opinion. Um, but I I would like to see Tampa bring black back into their color schemes, just because I think they're getting a little too close to Toronto. And they need to make sure their franchise is a little differentiated, but yeah. Mm -hmm. I really like this. Yeah, I like Cause this. Because this, this, this pays tribute to both the St. Pat's with the green and the Toronto Arenas with the shoulder. It's very close, I think, to the one that they use for the green already, though. That's the only thing I'll say. The, um, but I like the striping. It's actually, the striping it's to a, me looks like the Winter Classic yeah, striping they did very... when they had that all white with the blue striping. It's a very non-offensive jersey, I will say. 
very non-offensive. Yeah, they can. It keeps I really, very... I really like. I, re- I really like this. Uh-huh. I, I, I think that this is uh, a perfect because I think for original six teams, it's the most difficult to make these creative bold mm-hmm. designs just because there's a lot of history with it. Yeah. And I think Toronto does a great job with this. Okay. So. Or... Neat. That is different. I think I like it. All green shoulders. I think I like it. Oh, yeah. I like this. I think I like it. You know what I find a little... I'm not sure. I think I like it. I think I should like it. I like I it, I, fi- I do find it interesting how the ice the in the logo, is nice. uh, where the orca is coming out of, is green yeah, instead of white. I like that. The o- yeah, I mean like the only thing I might do is I might take away one green and one white stripe from the arms. That's what I'm thinking. It. I was wondering about yeah. that. Maybe the top, the high. Tip. I love those numbers though. I love the yeah, way the numbers, numbers are done. Right. Um, I love the little thin pinstripe of white right yeah. at the top of the shoulders there. Yeah. Um, and I like the uh, shoulder crest. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Vegas. You know what I like about this? The gold? It's not glittery gold. No, it's, it's not. Like a desert. And actually, it's a desert gold. If we're being honest, the gold that they have isn't supposed to be glittery gold. It's supposed to have like an almost like embroider type gold. Like yeah. that black there, I didn't know this. The back of the black on the Vegas Golden Knights logo has a bunch of intricate designs in it. You just oh, never yeah, see yeah. it. Yeah. Like you always find out when you go on like custom logos and you click on it, you're like, what the hell are these designs? Yeah, there's like little uh I yeah, kind of like this this Vegas jersey. I like the numbers on the arms. It's I would have liked it's different. I, I'm I think I've said this a, a bunch, but I would have liked Either gold or black on the shoulders, but other than that, because you're oh, because they good. have something at the bottom, and on the cuffs, part of me thinks they should then put it there. But I can understand yeah. either. I, I I like it like this, and again, I think they have their uh, shoulder logo works great as a shoulder logo. So mm. props there. Capitals. Why is this not their main logo? Why is that? That, in my opinion, should absolutely the Capitals, be their main logo. That Capitals logo is the best logo they have because it is a W, it is an eagle, and it has this the, uh, the Capitol building right Capitol below. building, yep. And I like it with the stars as well above it mm. because it kind of also has that original one. The only the only Capitals logo that I might like a little better, and this is just nostalgia, Screaming Eagle. Screaming eagle. I love that Screaming Eagle. I like it. Um, I like this jersey. It's... It's tough because I always wonder what it would look like in red if it would look very close to what it is already. I like I like that it's blue though because it's different. Yeah. That's because what. they always do the bright red Capitals jersey, yeah. and I like seeing something different. Okay, so I think we got one more here. This is our last one. Yeah. I love this. Oh, I really like that. I love. Yeah, you know, like, and I was worried this. at first that the red would that the red looks too much, like. And like makes it like an Oilers like thing, like because you no, see no, what no, it. No, no, no. I think I think one shade darker red, and I'd be one hundred percent sold on this. I, I disagree. But I think the red that he's got is great. The only thing I would, the only thing I found a little interesting about this one is uh, the jet on the logo is both all one color. It's not split like it is. On I'm the... okay with that. Actually. Oh, I'm okay with it too. I just find it interesting. Yeah, I like and it. And then, um, and then obviously the '90s logo on the shoulders. Do we have like which I love, which yeah. we're not allowed to use technically because yeah, Arizona that's, that's has bullshit. the right to uh Cyril has that's the rights bullshit. to it we only have rights to the WHA a era Winnipeg Jets but that's bullshit go out of business yeah so I actually really like these concepts yeah, these were good yeah I think uh it'll be um I, I would love to see how this does I want to know your comments down below if this is something we should do more of or just um, ranking stuff um just in general yeah or like, just like rating stuff or just giving feedback on stuff. Or just giving feedback on stuff you don't care about. I'm gonna see how lo- I'm gonna see how long you can keep doing this. Anything at <laughs> all. At all. Um <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, so make sure, like I said, you give us some feedback on that because we uh, are considering doing a few mm-hmm. more of these. Yeah. Uh, as long as long as you guys enjoy watching them. So Yeah, and don't forget to submit to all of our other lists that yeah, to, to do videos on stuff. And make sure you stay tuned for, we're going to have Chris Walby on the Prairie Puck Podcast, December 3rd, I believe. That will be premiering. And, uh, yeah. And uh, CFL Playoffs is in full swing. Yeah. And the videos are doing very well. Yes. So Check thank you out. to all of those who watched that. And, uh, yeah. So we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.